Hi, this is Cheryl with the Cut at Home Design Team. Today I want to show you some of the fun and whimsical stamps and dies from Lawn Fawn. Lawn Fawn has just a lot, a lot of great sets. I'm going to show you a lot today, but it's only a small sampling of what's available. Um, obviously, St. Patrick's Day is coming, and I'm going to show you a little bit more about the card in just a few minutes. Let me just show you some stamp sets that are available. Lawn Fawn covers a lot of different occasions and holidays and that sort of thing. This is a fun, happy wedding stamp. What I like about it is it's got the cute and the whimsical, but it's really appropriate for any age group. There's lots of elements that can be used. We've got engagement as well as wedding. Um, certainly could get an anniversary card out of that set too. Um, this one is also a fun one. This is called Plus One. Um, congratulations on the birth of a girl or boy, but also congratulations on a pregnancy. There's a bun in the oven. How fun is that? So lots and lots of cute sets in there. We also see a lot of fun flowers and that sort of thing. This one's called Gleeful Gardens. So many fun images from the snails and the mushrooms, the flowers, really, really cool. This is Our Friendship Grows with the Beautiful Sunflowers. Again, get well, thank you, friendship card. Lots of possibilities in just one stamp set. Bugs and Kisses appeals to that um, bug thing that we can't get over in life, but I like how they mix the cutesy with the bugs, and so they're okay. We can deal with them. We belong together. How fun is that sentiment? This one's really cool. It's called Admit One. And this is typical, I wanted to show you of Lawn Fun. You can have a stamp and a matching die set. So once I get these all done and colored up, I can cut them out with the matching dies. Super, super easy. Lawn Fun does a great job of matching stamps and dies. So it's very, very easy to lay the appropriate die over your stamped image, cut, and you don't have problems with it. This one's kind of fun. It's called Fantastic Friends. And we've got our fishes and, and little um, sea critters and that sort of thing that could create a fun, fun card. Again, lots and lots of variety. These um, designs are perfect for the kid and all of us, really. Um, kids, teens, tweens, you name it. There's some fun food sets. This one's called Let's Barbecue. Great for guys, um, teenage guys, older guys, that sort of thing. We should catch up, relish the day. Lots and lots of fun designs there. Again, dies that match. Um, I believe there's now dies that go with pretty much every single one of their stamp sets. So it makes it very, very easy to do what you want to do for your cards. This is a brand new one. It's called Pizza My Heart. You have a pizza my heart no matter how you slice it. Lots and lots of fun there. Again, who doesn't like pizza and what kind of a fun card would that be? As you can see, you even get to pick your toppings. And our die set has the basics. You're not going to cut out those individual toppings, but geez, who wants to? Right? It'll make you crazy. There are some smaller sets available from Lawn Fawn. This one's called Stuck on You and has our favorite cactus. Um, there's a lot of those being shown these days. I love this one. Happy Trails with the camper and the car. Campers, again, so very popular. Um, these smaller sets tend to be a little less expensive, which is kind of nice, but they still have their die sets to go with them. These are purchased separately. I tend to store them together. What I like to do is buy the business card size magnets, and I put that on the card that comes with the die set, and I store the dies this way. This way they're not falling off. They're not flopping all over the place. I have them when I need them. One of the really popular lines in Lawn Fawn is the Critter sets. There's all sorts of critters. The only one I have is called Critters Ever After and it's got sort of the whimsical, the unicorn and the dragon and that sort of thing. But there's all sorts of critters. Critters on the savanna, um, critters at the dog park, lots and lots. So there's one that will be absolutely perfect for you, I'm sure. Um, they also, in their stamp set, have these nice back background or backdrops as they call them. This is wood grain backdrop and snowy backdrop. These are not full size, but they're very, very easy to use. You could double it up if you had to cover a full card. 
but it just makes it nice to have a little bit of that stamped background to go with your card and then you get a few other things with it a few sentiments or um, the hearts and that sort of thing um, now let me show you some other oops, stamp sets here these are some scripty sentiments that they've come out with this one's called um, uh, let's see, scripty sayings, and so these are the basics, hello you, happy birthday, and that sort of thing. These will stretch across the fat size of an, fat side of an A2 card, or you can cut them down a little bit and they'll fit on the up and down A2 card. Um, there's also winter scripty sayings that covers Christmas, New Year, Hanukkah, that sort of thing. There's a brand new one out that has Valentine's Day. So those keep coming. Again, love the stamps. Um, this is a great segue into dies because the first dies that I want to show you here are some scripty dies. These are border dies. This one says, happy birthday to you in case you're not good at reading backwards. Again, they cut out very, very nicely. This is Merry Christmas. There are several of these. Thinking of you. Thank you. I love you. Lots and lots of choices on the die side. These are standalone dies that you can use as you need. Some of the other dies that are available are basic shapes. The ones I chose to show you here are the stitch shapes. So this is stitched ovals. I love that stitching detail and you'll see that I use that on my card when I get back to that in a minute. Um, squares, circles, and also rectangles. Now most of these sets, again, have small and large. Each set sort of nests together. You can see that with the rectangles here. And again, I put my magnet sheet on, which is why things are staying in place. They don't normally come with that. If you buy then the large stitch rectangle stackables, they alternate with these to give you even more coverage and a little bit less of a deviation between each size. So again, it would give you eight choices instead of the four that's available here. Um, there are just the basic sets that are straight, circle, oval, um, square, rectangle, that sort of thing. I've also got the scalloped circle and the scalloped rectangle. You have lots of good choices, lots of basics to use for your cards. Um, this is a backdrop. So this is a card cover fully. This is called snowy back. So you have the snowflakes coming down that cut out and the stars. You could cut this out of a dark color with a lighter color behind and you would be able to see the snow falling and that sort of thing. Um, Lawn Fawn also has a lot of other fun dies. Again, standalone. This is, oops, I'm knocking over my letters here. The Stitch Scallop Cupcake Wrapper. This will create a fun, fun cupcake wrapper, and I'll put a picture on the blog post of what this looks like that you can use to cover your cupcakes. This actually, I have used it. It does fit a standard cupcake, which is kind of nice. If you try and purchase cupcake wrappers, you know that sometimes they're way too big, but this is a good one. Um, there's also a grassy one that's really fun, too. This is one of the many uh, bags and boxes they have. This is called the goodie bag. Again, they're simple and straightforward to assemble, really easy to cut. Now let me show you my favorite way of working with the Lawn Fawn um, stamp sets and their accompanying dies. Um, obviously they need to be have some detail added by coloring them in. So you can make a choice as you cut these out. You can stamp everything on a white paper and fully color it in or you can do something a little different. For my little sheep here, it just made sense to stamp them on white. And then I added the details with their face, um, colored their feet in, added a little gray around the edges to add some dimension. Um, this little sheep, I added a little bit less of the gray around and just filled in the details. But that's very quick and easy. So I can stamp these out quickly. I add the color before I die cut them. Then I just lay the dies over top, super, super easy to see placement. Use a little um, washi tape or frog tape or something like that to hold the die in place. Die cut it and you're good to go. This set you can see has a little bit more challenging critters with it. Um, I've got the reindeer 
and the penguin. And the penguin makes most sense to just cut them on, um, stamp them on white and color in those areas that need to be colored. But the reindeer, maybe not so much. Here's where I look at what would be my main color for this little critter. And I stamp it on that. So these weren't stamped on white, they were stamped on this tan paper. And then I just used my distress marker to add the details in on all of these. The little detail with the white, that's my um, white gel pen, always works really, really well. But that's really fast and easy to color these in as opposed to putting them on white and coloring in the entire critter. So use the cheaters method. It works really, really good. Um, my last little guy here, I forgot to bring his little stamp set. This is the holiday party animal guy. But again, I stamped him on the light tan paper and just added the accents. Super, super easy. I'm all about the easy and the cheaters method. I'm not going to work too hard with this. So let's get back to my St. Patrick's Day because I used a similar process for this card. First of all, I want you to see the stitch detail on the rectangle on this card. It's not a lot, but it just adds a finished element that makes your cards look just a little nicer. So if you haven't tried using those stitch dies, try that. I think you'll really like it. I used hats for this from this set called Hats Off to You. Very, very fun. We've got hats for all different occasions. I wanted my St. Patrick's Day hat here for this. Um, again, I'm not going to color this whole thing in. I'm virtually lazy. So what I did was, first of all, I stamped it on the green paper, and then I stamped it on white. On the white one, I colored in the black belt and the gold buckle. And so if you have the die set for the hat, you just simply need to cut, die cut the green hats. I don't have that die set, so I hand cut them which didn't take hardly any time. There's a lot of pretty straight lines here. And then I went back and I just simply cut out the belt and buckle from this one and pasted it on top. You can see, you can kind of lift the edge there and you can see it's just pasted on top. But you don't see that when you're looking at it. It just looks like a hat with all its color. So use that cheater's method. So much easier. Makes the lawn fawn cards very, very quick and easy to use. Now you don't have to just use your lawn fawn for cards. I'm going to try and move my little letters closer here. What I did is I created these letters spelling lucky. Um, these were a plain wood letter that I got and I painted them green and then I added a little bit of gold rub. I used the um, shamrock on the lawn fawn stamp set. This is called hats off to you to add some shamrocks to the letter and then I made some hats and I added the hats for just a little fun to my lettering. So there's lots and lots you can do with the lawn fawn sets. Again, they're so much fun. I know you'll enjoy them. I've shown you a lot here today of the stamps and dies and there's even more available on the Cut at Home site. So please do take a minute to go and take a look at those. Also, if you go ahead and look at my um, blog post on Cut at Home, I'm going to show you several other project ideas using the Lawn Fawn stamps and dies. Thanks for watching. Bye.